Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial for you today. We are going to color Charlie with teapot and we are going to coordinate her with the botanical tea papers from Graphic 45 because isn't that obvious? And I love this paper, it's awesome. So let's get coloring.
And now we're going to do the sentiment and we are going to write tea time with the help of uh, Lawn Fonts Quinn's Capital and Riley's ABCs. So I'm starting with the Quinn's Capital. I'm going to stamp them up in Memento Tuxedo Black because I'm going to Copic color this. Like this. Make sure that I get good enough ink. And then just... Oh! Like that. I'm using the same colors that I used for her but I'm only using two of each. You don't have to have that much of a blending on the letters. So I'm starting with the brown, the E53. I'm going on with the E55 and just adding the shadows. And then, of course, going back in with the E53. I do a base coat of the lightest color, B12. Then I'm doing some shadows with the B14. And then I'm blending that out with the B12 again. And for the A we're using R30 and R32. So again, a base coat with the lightest color, R30. And then uh, some shadows with the 32. And then just blending those shadows out with 30 again. And now for the rest of the card, we're using some Nina uh, Solar White for the uh, card base. Then we're going to do use some chocolate cardstock here to make the mat. And I'm making the mat one eighth smaller than the card base. Then we're using our pattern paper and that is, we cut that down to an eighth smaller than our mat. So at four and five and a quarter. That. We're also going to make this sentiment a little bit more alive. So I'm taking that, cutting it down so it's a little bit thinner. See? We're making that one inch. Please. We are going to use the striped paper behind this but we're also going to mat this specifically with some card cardstock so first this is one and a quarter so I'm making a one and eighth black uh, round cardstock then I'm taking this which is next step this was one and an eighth I want to make sure this pattern is actually shown so I'm making it one and three eighths wide and then I want some chocolate cardstock around that and that will become one and a half so in varying sizes now the length of this is going to be as the mat so five and a quarter no five and three eighths then I'm gonna cut this down to be five and a quarter the length of this, see right now it's that we put it, cut it down a little bit. So we're gonna cut it on both sides, I think, so that I get the. Yeah, the length of this is now three inches. So the matching cardstock that is going to go behind it is gonna be three and eight. So then I have the mat for that little bit. But I'm also going to do a little sentiment and I'm going to use the uh, offcut of that to put um, the sentiment on. The sentiment itself fits perfectly on a quarter strip, a half a strip. So cutting this down to half an inch 
to be able to put our sentiment on there. Now for the second part of the sentiment we are going to do some heat embossing. So first we are using some this little embossing tool. Then I'm using some Versamark with the little thyme sentiment we built. But I'm using Hero Arts white embossing powder. So I'm taking this up, putting some of that onto my letters. And then uh, like that, and then I'm heat embossing. Hit it with my heat tool, and this is how it turns out. Now we can uh, start putting this together. Start by layering all of the different pieces. That ran out. I take another one. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. I think we're cutting it down there. And then we're trying to put as much of the same amount on that side. I think we have to... This is one of those you can cut a little bit more there and cut a little bit more there, but that just would probably be how I want it. And I just put some tape on that. And I have the sentiment there. Now I'm going to put her on some foams. And then we're putting her just over here and then I'm going to add the whole card to the card base like that and that is the card for today I hope you liked it. If you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, just press the subscribe button. i see you later. Bye!